concerning. Good thing we're doing this. All right, when President, when President Biden ordered sanctions on Russia, he was serving which role? Be careful with this one, read it carefully. Roles of the president. Part, step one is about confirming the direction of our talk today because sometimes teachers want to talk about more than just what we've been talking about in the training. Is there anything else that you want to talk about or are we just going to stick to the training? I think we'll stick to the training. All right, so we're going to review progress on your goal mm -hmm. and your goal had been making sure your questions were more interactive and individualized so that you could know who does and does not know the subject material. So. What has gone well for you? Um, just being able to uh, have the data for each student is really good uh, to have on specific questions because the questions are aligned with a particular standard. Mm -hmm. So we'll know what uh, is, is um, being able to do that. The kids really do respond well to it as well instead of having to write things out. And so you good. think that it is um, successful? Oh yes, I'll continue to use it. All right. Um, 
but it says what progress has been made toward this goal. So how many times do you think you use pluggers? Probably, well, if you think about in specific classes, uh, several, I would say probably seven times since we started. Okay. In one class and three in the other class, so. Okay, what did you learn about this? Or this whole doing this strategy? Um, just about how to do it and the fact that you can get the data from it. That's pretty cool, being able to print out data and then um, pretty weekly yeah, too. Yeah, very. It's like right there. It's, mm -hmm. it's really good, and that also surprised me. <laughs> so I didn't realize that I could, um, you know, get the individual data quite like that and print it out as well. So that was Plus, good. You know, I heard you when you were zooming around, like, oh, this green. I saw a lot of red. Yeah, red. yeah. <laughs> um, do you think you've had any roadblocks? The only thing it has nothing to do with flickers was just the when I had them laminated. It was a little hard to see them because of the problems there. Okay. So we're also supposed to review the data and we're gonna look at the checklist that we had talked about before. I checked out the ones that I did see uh, during mm -hmm. my observation this morning that you were ensuring all students respond, which I feel like with Flickers is pretty easy because yes. it, their name's up there. Uh, you developed a group response ritual so they know how to hold them up and that you were using um, effective questioning techniques. But, um, I know I didn't see it today, but do you ask students to explain their responses sometimes? Sometimes uh, with with the subject matter that I teach, it's more, with government, it's more of a right or wrong, right or wrong answer. Sometimes we'll um, explore it because like this morning, I actually realized that in the second period that my first question, I had the wrong answer on because I read wrong. It was, which one was not a characteristic. And so I was like, and it, but it was a good teaching moment because I'm like, make sure you read your questions carefully because exactly. I didn't. So. All right, and then um, repeating assessments to ensure clarity. Do you ever reuse some of the questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. And then reinforcing students using assessment results. That, and basically, I don't think that I often share the mm -hmm. results from Flickers with them, but, but they we talk about how they know how they're doing. Do mm -hmm. they, they ever talk, your students ever talk about that? Not, not too much. What uh, I think the looking at the spread of answers is always interesting for them because then they're, they, first of all, they don't feel either they realize, ooh, I really don't know this, or mm -hmm. I'm not the only one who doesn't know it. Exactly. So that kind of gives some comfort there. Okay, and then checking for understanding or refining the assessment. Do my questions effectively address the key learnings and standards? And I know you even talked about that with them, so I checked that off. Should I change my questions in any way to make them more effective? Do you feel like your questions are good? I think I had a good mixture today of, of, of higher level DOK and then a couple of lower level DOK. Yeah. So I might mix up the order of them because I put the higher ones first just to kind of see and then the lower ones. Did you so. see on the website that you can, um, after you've already put them in, you can, uh, I know you can, sort the answers differently, but I think you can do the questions as well. Okay. Uh, do you feel that your assessments address the right things? Yes, we needed okay. to go over those things for sure to find out. Um, and it says, were you able to monitor all students' progress? I said yes. Did students have a clear understanding of their progress? I said yes, because y'all yeah, were talking did. about the answers. All right, so do you think you wanna keep using the strategy, strategy of flickers as it is? No yes. changes, okay? Yes. Um, so you don't want to choose a new strategy? Um, you mean as opposed to flickers yes. or using flickers differently? Mm. No, I really like it for my openings. And, okay. and then maybe I may end up using it for different, you know, like a closing and ticket out the door and things of that nature. Which is probably more the way I've used it. Yeah. Do you want to change the way that you measure progress toward your goal? Mm -mm. Good. Do you want to change your goal? Good. Okay, so the next steps, and I'm gonna go through the questions real quick and then I have a chart on the back. Okay. So when should we meet again? What tasks have to be done before we meet? When will those tasks be done? Who will do them? <clears throat> and on a scale of one to five, how committed are you to this goal now? Okay. So we still have the goal of um, interactive and individualized. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. You, do you think it's interactive enough? 
I would I, I wouldn't mind exploring some different um, aspects of clickers instead of just the multiple choice question. Okay. Yeah, I think there's a few on there that's uh, a little yeah. different. Yeah. Little and did different. you notice that you could put pictures? So like if you yeah. had a question like that. Um, are you, but you're happy with the individualized results that you get? I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It looks really good. Okay, so <clears throat> next steps, do you think maybe we should um, maybe sit down with some of the data and like really look at it? Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Yeah, um, assessing the data is something that I haven't um, spent as much time on other than right there. So right there, really good. exactly. Yeah. I understand. Um, so what do you want to say? have a goal of maybe in two weeks yeah I think two weeks would be a reasonable all right how committed are you to this goal oh, five 